Damn, it looked good. Hi, Bidgets. My name is this today. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but you've requested it for years. If I haven't shoved it in your head by now, I go to NYU. <laughs> the rumors are true. That's all NYU students talk about is the fact that they go to NYU. I'm currently majoring in digital media. No, I'm not. I'm currently majoring in integrated digital media. What does that mean? I really don't know. I think I'm wasting all my money on this tuition. But a few weeks ago, I made a video and I put in a poll where I asked you guys whether or not you want to see my portfolio website or like see me make one. And I think 95% said yes. And I expect 95% of you guys to watch. And if not, <laughs> to your surprise, I'm not just a self-centered YouTuber who makes videos about himself. I also do photography <laughs> where I take pictures of myself and other people. And I've had a portfolio website in the past, had that deleted because I went to college and didn't think I would do anything with it. But I'm about to be, sorry, I don't want to say it. I'm about to be 19 years old, which is like, ooh. <laughs> I have to think about getting a real job because YouTuber on your resume isn't the most fun thing, okay? And also having your username as that midget Asian really turns some people off. But thankfully, Wix is not one of those people. God bless your soul. I'm sure you'll regret this, but I'm sponsored by Wix today. Not only are they gonna help me build my new website, but they're also gonna help pay for my college tuition. If you don't know what Wix is, it's a website builder, and I've used it in the past to make my original website that I took down. And I'm just gonna be brutally honest with you, if you don't have a website in college, people literally look at you like you're different person. They say, oh, you don't have a resume with your website attached? Your website is just your Instagram handle? <laughs> yes, we are that pretentious. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm making my website in real time. And if you want to make your own website, just go to wix.com slash go slash that midgetation. As always, the link is in the description. So here's the Wix website. It's pretty cute. So I see two options, ADI, which I don't need because I'm what? A design major. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Wix editor and there's around five pages, okay. I'm seeing a lot of options here. I'm seeing a very attractive male. Oh, there's a lot of options. So my thing is portfolios and portraits. So I'm gonna just look at portfolios. I like my portfolio simple. So like this is appealing to me. I think the background is spicy because it's not just white. And I might add my own code in because if you don't know, she knows HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, barely. First of all, let's do this. You have to have your name in the title. I like fonts that are sans serif. So this font isn't my favorite. I like fonts more like this because it's just bold and clean and I hate formal. I'm just gonna say photography and I hate that font still, so let's change it. A rule we learned in design is never have bold and italics. It's like wearing a belt and overalls, which I have done in the past, don't remind me, but uh, let's turn that off and I'm probably gonna change this again because I don't like how it's taken away from my other type. Two bold fonts in this economy. Disgusting. I like that more. Semi-bold. Okay, so my gallery. We're gonna delete all of these photos. This is the moment when people can start judging my photography. Go ahead, judge me. Just don't be mean. It's almost cancer season. <laughs> all right, I went through, found my best of the best portrait photography, and now I have to wait. All right, I see that there's a lot of projects, and I don't want to explain every photo I've ever taken in my life, so I'm probably gonna get rid of these. This is my bio. Got it. I'm gonna make a new page and then call projects nature photography because I also take nature photos. Portraits, nature, info, contact. I don't really have graphic design stuff I want to put on here yet. I might add that later, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it as photography. And I'll rename this to portraits. Oh, I have to delete all the projects. Ugh. All right, if I go back to my gallery, I should have all my images done at the page. I've always liked organizing my color, so I'm just gonna go by the rainbow. Seems fitting for Pride Month. I also like using color in my photography, but it also gets very hard because some things have more than one color and then I can't decide. You know what? I'm gonna add my nature photography too because I only have four photos of, of them that I like. And there's no need to make another page for them. Sorry, nature. Gonna have to cut you off. See you next year. And I guess I have to rename this to photography again. Let's add the other four photos. Now I can organize. Red, yellows, yellow blues. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get messy. Blue, green, more green. I guess I can fit that here. Here. Okay, blue, dark blue, purples, a multicolored blue. Um, I think that's the best I'll be able to get it. My photography teacher is gonna kill me for this. I'm sorry, I can't fix it. This person I took a picture of, she's in the first three photos. Sorry, I used her as a model too many times. I would rather have it switched up, you know, not have this clump together, but it's fine. Oh, this is kind of cute. We can do grid. We can do masonry. I think I like masonry the most, and I'm gonna change the padding around it. I would prefer these to be bigger. The spacing can be a little bit smaller, like maybe 25. Yeah, 
it's fine. If you click on one of these photos, it expands it for you to see in detail. And I'm gonna try out an animation for photography. Glide, expand, oh no. For anyone who uses the spins, this is not a Microsoft PowerPoint. Like this, oh <laughs> no. I like fades, fades are easy. I don't like the spacing, I'm gonna move this just a tad bit higher. I would like to change the background color too. I don't like that. My favorite color is yellow. I don't know if you can tell. My hex value for my favorite color is this. That's a little jarring to see. Yeah, don't do this. You're gonna give someone a headache. I like that. I think that's good. Okay, let's have a preview. Ooh, and it shows the name. Yeah, I don't want that. Ooh, borders. Is that too much for them to handle? I want scroll animation, and as you scroll down the page, images fade in. That's what I want. Oh, info to display. Nothing. There we go. Adjust this so that this ends right around here. I don't need that either. What I do want is this. Let's make this bigger. Space it out a little more. All right, time to do all my social links. Add me on LinkedIn. I need 500 plus connections, guys. <laughs> there. I also want to edit my text again because I like having drop shadows. What I would like it to do is be white and have a black shadow. I don't know how to add that drop shadow yet, but I will keep looking probably. I don't want to spend 30 minutes looking for that. This also might take a day or two for me to finish. Well, let's go to info. Okay, time to be boring. Info about me. Hi, my name is Frederick Chen. My major is integrated digital media. You know, we got to sound fancy. I can't think right now. I'll figure out something smart later. That seems good for today, Frederick. Let's reflect. I'll come back here in a few hours and finish the rest because I need a coffee break. The next Day. I took some time to look up some stuff, look up some example websites, and I think I've updated this enough. We're almost at the finish line. Yesterday, I had a problem figuring out how to do this drop shadow that I always like. I couldn't customize the options they gave me, but turns out you can just group elements together. I don't know why that didn't come to mind, but I just copy pasted the same text, put it over it, made it white. Now look at this guy, look at him. Mm, photo taken from two years ago, still looks better than what I look like today. As much as I would like to be a thirst trap and put a selfie on there, you have to pretend that a very professional company is looking at you and they want to see like the best of the best. So a photo of me doing this, isn't gonna appeal to them. You can read the description if you want. I'm not gonna read it too much, but basically you wanna make it look like you know what you're doing. Not only do you have to convince people that you are skilled at what you do, but you have to be able to write proper sentences, have correct grammar, and sound formal-ish. I don't really like going too formal because those are my high school days. I've written enough essays to know how to do that. I don't know if I like this here. Before it was a quote that was like, I make art or like art should be alive, something, something weird. I figured I can call myself those things. I'm not gonna put animator on there when I can't even do that yet. Just list some of the skills. Mine are all Adobe programs. Before on my resume, I used to have like a percentage of how good I am at a program. But then I realized that makes no sense. What does 80% good at Premiere Pro look like? Contact page. There's nothing on there yet. I'm gonna add a contact form. I don't wanna put my merch on here. It's not about my merch website. So I'm not gonna do like business there yet. Just Simple black and white, I feel like looks best. I just realized I don't need a contact page because I'm only gonna be providing my email. If you want, just know that there's a contact forms here. I know that's an option I used to do a lot. I like keeping a site as few pages as possible and I would put my design page on there, except I'm not confident with my design. So we're not going to. I think I'm gonna put it right here, like right above this. I can change that in the future. But yeah, this is mainly just for my portfolio website at the moment. So in case I want to do photography, just show this to them. Oh, and there's a mobile site option too. Oh boy. All right, photography is too big, so I'm gonna make the font smaller. Yeah, this is gonna be hard if you're on an iPhone. You're just gonna be scrolling like this, but there's, that's the only option. I'm changing this icon to like an easier one. Square button seems good. Info. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Only thing is I gotta move the skills down a tiny bit. I'm also gonna change my domain name because I do have one already, frederickchen.com. There it is, boys. I'm pretty happy with it. I just needed something to be able to show people on my resume. I'm gonna add design and stuff that I've done in college as another tab soon. Cause on my resume, it says go to frederickchen.com and I would prefer it if they knew that I had design stuff on there. I just need to design stuff. That's the first thing. But there you go. Took me basically two hours to make this website. Now this website is simple because there's not much going on, but that's how I prefer it. Thank you again Wix for sponsoring me and hope you guys enjoy the video. Once again, if you want to sign up, go to wix.com slash go slash that midget Asian. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos every week. Turn on my notifications, social medias are all that midget Asian. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Time to apply for some jobs.